More than 1,000 residents begged the Tamariskia community hall in Swakopmon to hear requirements for applying for fishing rights. The Irongo governor urged the committee that would award the fishing rights to make sure quotas are allocated equally among all Namibians. We must call it a day, the time when only few selected individuals were benefiting for the fish from the fishing rights. And we had that one all the years. If the line share is still concentrated within the Muchabikwa, the people at the top level, it is going to be futile. The majority of residents are of the opinion the fisheries minister has already excluded them when it is demanding new applications to register proprietary limited PTL companies instead of closed corporations or CCs. Why ask the PTY? The public will make only the government for CC. Yeah, I'm not feeling good. The minister announced the changes two months before the deadline of the applications. This has now created fear among residents. They would not be able to change their companies to PTYs before the 31st July deadline. I'm against the time frame which was given here. One month. Are they playing games with us of what is going on here? Because I cannot go to the, the headman of some uh, trust and say, listen, I need a letter of intent or letter of uh, intention or letter of support. How can I get it if I don't have a PTY Limited? So how can I make an appointment for an interview but I don't have a PTY Limited because the time frame is against me? We will, as a matter of fact, uh, meet the minister next week to brief him on the outcomes of all our consultations and information and also highlighted the fact that the issue of time frame of too short featured prominently across the board. The public educator who was appointed by the fisheries ministry further explained that the criteria was changed to make sure potential shareholders are not excluded.